Welcome to AP 2020 Outdoor Shooting Range. Howdy folks, it's Nita. Welcome to AP 2020 Outdoor Shooting Range where I can produce videos and shoot videos for you so you don't have to. Today's video is titled 350 Legend is Superior to the 300 Blackout. Change my mind. Now I know you folks, some of you 300 Blackout guys are probably getting pretty butt hurt right about now. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying the 300 Blackout is bad. Believe you me, I've got like, I think three or four of them and I've produced well over 100 videos dedicated to the 300 Blackout. I'm just saying the 350 Legend is better and I'm going to prove it to you in this video. Now before we get into the actual shooting, I want to show you the system I have. I got to thank uh, Moss Tech. They sent out a 8 inch 1 in 10 twist. That's right, a 1 in 10 twist 350 Legend barrel. This is actually chambered with the 358 AR, which affords you the ability to shoot 358 diameter or 357 diameter bullets. Awesome barrel maker. Uh, I've been working with them closely. They designed a pistol length gas system. Speaking of the gas system, I have a superlative arms piston pistol length gas system. Awesome superlative arms. Uh, I tuned this setup so quickly. I got perfect about 330 ejection pattern. Up front, I've got the Bowers Group Verse 45 Blackout. Don't confuse it with the 300 blackout. I'm not sure why Tom Bowers called it a blackout, but his, his moniker or designation details that it's rated for 45 caliber up to 2200 feet per second, which is pretty awesome. I just picked up their Griptastic. Up top, I've got the Vortex 1 to 6 power Strike Eagle by 24 millimeter objective. Awesome scope. I've got the Tacticam 5.0 with the FTS film through scope system. Hope that's working well today. Also I have the Brass Goat. This is their new flat dark earth. Additionally I have the new Brass Goat flat dark earth. This is an awesome brass catcher. Works out great. The uh, hopper itself is separate from the catcher itself. It just snaps on really easily. Nope. So I've got my target set out at 50 yards. We'll ahead, go ahead and shoot a three shot group. Let me get tactic camp turned on here. Alright, let's take a look at that group. Alright folks, that's not too bad. I actually had two shots into one hole here. And I might have pulled this one. That could have been me. That's pretty promising there. So here's the setup. I have my clear ballistics gel. I actually have two 16 inch blocks set at 50 yards. Alright folks, here we go. Got the high speed camera ready. Gonna take the shot. Nice. Oh, I love that resounding thump. folks that's awesome check it out look at that wound path it actually stopped at the uh, beginning of the 16th the second 16 inch block <laughs> gotta love it I think I might be able to pull it out here oh yeah maybe I forgot my tactical hemos check that out Ooh, that baby's still warm too that's awesome so if we look closely, folks, there's the unshot bullet. There's a shot bullet. Got a perfect expansion. That's pretty cool looking. All right, folks, I'm going to try something fun here. I'm going to try to do a double tap. I got my high-speed camera timer preset at 10 seconds. Hopefully, that will give me enough time to capture this. Here we go. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> nice! Oh, I love it. Okay, folks, well, I don't toot my horn too often on my videos, but I'll tell you what, man, I double tap that within a quarter inch. That's crazy. Look at that. Those wound tracks. Once again, probably about 17 inches of penetration. Pretty awesome. Ah, I can't see too well. I, I definitely need to recycle this clear ballistics gel, no doubt. That's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see what the high-speed camera looks like. Folks, you can't ask for any better performance than that. 350 Legend Subsonic. No doubt. I've got two one-gallon water jugs at 100 yards. I'm just going to use the Vortex Optics. I think the... Second one down is 5.6 minutes. The shooter app is calling for 5.2 minutes. Come up for a 50 yard zero. Let me see if I can get on target here. No call. There you go, that's a hit. Let me go for the one on the right. Impact! Impact! No more bullets. So yeah, I think that first shot I shot way too high here. And then, you know, it still expanded, blew out the back side. The other jug, center mass, blew out the back side as well. All right, folks, so like I said, the big reason why I'm, I'm such a huge proponent of the 350 Legend is actually several factors. Number one, it's AR compatible, AR friendly. That's, that's been proven. Number two, it's a straight wall cartridge, which in a lot of Midwestern states like Ohio is deer game legal. 300 blackout, blackout is not. It's got that little bitty shoulder which, exempt, which doesn't allow it because it's considered a quote, bottleneck cartridge. Number three, and the biggest one, is that in a subsonic loading, I'm shooting a 280 grain bullet at 1,040 to 1,050 feet per second. I'm getting kinetic energies in the 660 to 670 foot pounds range. 300 blackout subsonic, can't even touch that. That's the biggest reason. And I'll tell you what, with a, with a good size can, these, these uh, rounds are just so quiet. In fact, this year in Ohio's deer season, I'm gonna try to take a deer with this setup. Pretty happy about it. If you guys are new viewers, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you really like my content, hit that notification bell. That way, whenever I get new videos uploaded, you'll be notified at first. Also, by the way, if you guys are interested in my reload data, I've got a subscribe star channel set up now. It's kind of like a pay-per-view. It's only like $5 a month subscription. And I'm gonna actually release my reload data. I was kind of hesitant at first, but I thought, you know, if some person is willing to pay a monthly subscription to get my reload data, then I think they're probably responsible enough to use it. So remember, support our second amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you. <music>